Hello guys, welcome back to the series of watching 1600 plus players and today we're gonna be watching Black XX against Faraday it's Mexico against Brazil so let's take a look we have here Ethiopians against Teutons for those who's not familiarized this is a new civilization from Wololo Kingdoms and it's a new mode of Age of Empires so if you don't know yet take a look it's very interesting we have need I think 13 new civilizations and it's really fun to learn to watch and learn and to play all of them so in the beginning I want to take a look on the map but for that I'm gonna do a quickly uh, a quickly sh show here that I made, I, I printed the screen and this is the map we are going to see here is blue, black XX and here is red, Faraday so the resource of blue, you see he has a very good map two woods, uh, back gold, three back golds one is a bit, uh, one stone and one gold is a bit in front but it's all good uh, I think the map, he has a really good map, as you can see, it's really easy to wall. Uh, he can wall from this wood to the edge of the map here, and also he can make buildings here, and then finish walling here. He can wall with houses or palisades, it's up to him. So, uh, thinking about mid-game or in the end game, when it comes to late Castle Asian Imperial game, I will zoom over this part of the map, which you will see a big hill over there and you can see that if he's able to be aggressive, take control of the map and put castles over here he can have the control of two of enemies gold so this is a very important spot and also guys, you can't forget that if you do have the control of the hill don't forget to put some pressure in the side because the enemy the only choice the enemy can do is boom on side and try to attack in the side so if you can control the heal and don't let him boom and you have the game for sure okay so let's keep going to the game here we have let's go i will pass a bit quickly to the in the dark age because there's nothing much to to see here we want to Pay attention on what really matters, right? So he has foreign wood. Uh, this means that he can do drush. He can even do scouts, but usually if you go scouts, you have just three on wood. So anyway, let's see what he's gonna make. He lured a deer. Tried to kill the enemy scout. And now he's going for the second board. So here it is. He has a lot of wood, as I said, because he had four villagers on wood. And now he's doing barracks here on the top of gold. It's a bit weird place because usually players put the barracks and the buildings uh, towards the enemy. And since you are here in the left of the map, you would place here towards the enemy. But he's trying to to have information and some some protection to his gold so it's understandable it's not bad but it's a bit weird as i said he could wow the villager just to make sure that the enemy doesn't kill him since he doesn't have loom but it's not big thing as you see he he didn't make any militias he just made the barracks it's very common to see these nowadays. People just make barracks and do so. Enemy thinks it's rush, but uh, actually he's just going feudal. He's going man at arms or something like this. So here you see that he put two villagers. So he probably is doing man at arms. But the second lumber camp here may that means wow. that he might go archers, especially with Ethiopians that. You have a very strong archer, archer lines fires 18% faster, so he might just go archer instead of doing mana terms. As you see, he's not producing any militias, so it might be Ow. archers. Let's go a bit forward. 
And here, one thing that I would like to say to you guys, it's my opinion. See, you, you need to, I will say this, I think, uh, more times in this game, but you need to understand your map and play as he wants you to play. You can see that he could place his archer rangers uh, one by one here towards that wood, so it's kind of like a wall, but wall with archery range, and then finish with houses or BS, anything. But instead of that, he did two ranges, not walling much. Maybe he will try to wall here, and then from here to here. But as I said, I don't like too much that. I would prefer archers here. Anyway, let's keep going. So he's making archer, as I said. A house, nice. Let's go a bit forward. BS already. It's the first farm he's building. Uh, I want to pay attention to something here. He didn't make any arch, any farms in the Dark Age. It means that the longest, the long, the long time. I mean, I missed the the word. But the longer you you miss to do the farms, uh, the longer you're gonna stay in in Feudal Age. So prepare to do your farms the fastest you can. It's very important, guys. He's doing quite lately, it's almost 13 minutes, it's his first farm and there is no horse color as you can see, because if he had horse color he would have 250 food over here. And again, here for me is a big mistake, really bad wall in my opinion, because uh, the enemy can reach easily this gold if he comes with arm here. So, if he wants to protect this gold, I mean, why don't wall here with houses? You don't need to hurry, you don't need to be fast, but just go walling with houses and you don't get housed like you are getting now. So this is very bad because you can't take stone, later the enemy can even reach his wood and also can reach his gold. So, as I said, understand your map and play as he asks you to play. And another point is here is that 14 minutes and the scout from blue is doing nothing here. Okay, just because I told you he's moving now. But it's still, he doesn't even know what enemy has. The enemy still tones, the enemy, the enemy can do scouts, the enemy can do archeries, uh, skirmishers, but he's not scouting, so he doesn't have any information about the enemy. And as I said, I lost here a bit, sorry, but as I said, he's still idle here and he doesn't know that he didn't know that the enemy has skirmishers this is very bad you need to scout the enemy you need to have a better exploration of the map so here he's doing his house he made a stable uh, he wants to kill his, his skirmishers so he will mix archers with scouts it's not bad since the enemy is skirmishers but you need to remember that you made really not much farms and late farms so if you if you are adding scouts right now you're definitely gonna be very late up castaways so take care about that and now he's doing wheelbarrow this is very good very important and he's mixing scouts with archers Let's go a bit quick, let's go forward, he has a lot of gold, he can spam a lot of army. Remember when you have a lot of resources like this, wood and gold, do like three archers on each on each archery range, so you, you make sure you're not missing to make army, you see, like he did for like 10 seconds, it's important. So here he's going to attack, he has defense and, and fletching for the archers, no upgrades for scouts, it's okay, and let's see here, oh that's a nice fight for him, go oh, black xx, and here we see a mistake, he should have left when he saw the skirmishers and only leave the, uh, the scouts here to kill the skirmishers, and you see that he's losing a lot of archers for nothing, he did lose like 4 or 5 archers, so one point here is that I really want to say to you guys don't waste army, don't waste army, keep your army together, you need to have numbers, it's very important, 
please control your army pay attention on them as i said before you see that he doesn't is not making army here and he has a lot of resources so don't forget make three or four archers if you have that much resources don't forget so he's making a market he will probably buy food to go up it means that his economy is not too well balanced and he will have to buy food to go cast the wish yeah and as i said he bought because he had a lot of gold and now he's up already so that's one point here finally he's taking a villager but now as i said losing more army and more army and more army and it's 23 minutes guys and if you check his numbers it's only 9 plus 3 12 14 army this is very bad because you should have more he should have more he should have more it's long time already and he doesn't have real good number now he's attacking on the other side with archers but he's losing more and more our army and even though he's castaways before the enemy this is a good point here he, he's attacking on on the on the, his wood this is a very good point but you can see that he doesn't have too much army it's really not good numbers on only 17 25 minutes 25 minutes you could have like 50 already so he's breeding sig to make mangonels and kill skirmishers and he's not making any army any army any army any army at all look in that the enemy <laughs> don't want to kill his archers it's funny let's go his forge and as you see he's losing more archers more more knights here and one more and this for nothing as i said guys please remember this if you can control your army good if you can have good number of army you're gonna upgrade your reaching for sure because 1600 players lose too much army for nothing for nothing you see he's not paying attention for his army so even if you have idle villagers it's no problem you have to but try to control your army if you can control your army you get really better and don't waste them fight when you can and don't waste them okay three town centers now as i said he has nothing almost nothing of army and the enemy has much more than him and also has knights with upgrades so this is very bad for him he made a random shot here and as i said in the beginning if he had houses here if he was walled here he would not be attacked here he would not have to worry about those archers in the top of the hill and here as i said the enemy can kill villagers and have the gold control now so what was a very good map in the beginning now it's looking really bad because he made bad decisions in in buildings and placements if he wallet from here to here uh, buildings here and houses and houses over here he would be really fine now so understanding your map is very important and making good decisions so now finally he has a good number let's see how he micro the enemy has elite skirmishers so it's very dangerous to fight here and he'll lose the mangono for nothing he didn't kill any skirmisher i think with mangono so he's probably losing this fight and this is very bad for him really bad because now he almost doesn't have army and he lost a lot of villagers the enemy has the control of the game the enemy can even go inside now with archers and he's not making too much army he's in big trouble right now and this is probably gg guys as you can see 
he's losing all of his gold and he has one archer no three archers three archers and one mango now so that's pretty much over and now he's inside the wood if he can catch that wood then it's gg yeah yeah now, now it's definitely gg so yeah gg called by black xx so guys remember if you have a map like this try to understand your map after you scout a bit and you see your gold you see your stone try to see where you can pl place your buildings and don't forget as well you need to control better your army because if you control better your army you definitely gonna upgrade your rating because they lose too much for nothing if he had a lot of army here a lot of archers with ethiopians they fire fast so he would have numbers and strong army and he definitely could could afford to 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 get him here and stop his attack so even with bad walls but if you have good army control you can win the game so this is for for you my 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 analysis of this game is very important to see that without a good decisions of placement and without good control of of army you're definitely gonna lose a lot of games so that's my hint that's my tip for today thank you for watching i will try to make one video by for week now i'm back definitely back now and i hope you enjoyed that video see you